what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert my name is john and today i wanted to talk about a few tips that i can give to you guys whether you're a new player or not um so that you could progress in this game and not lose a lot of silver so these are some things that i think people make mistakes on and i just wanted to give you my thoughts and opinions on how to like not fall into certain traps of this game or just do things in the right order more or less um so in no particular order um starting with setting up workers and nodes as you guys know if you are a beginner looking at this map is probably very confusing and like when i first started i didn't know how to do all these workers and nodes things so i just kind of have to figure it out so i wanted to teach you guys how to do it and why it's important so let's just go over this as a baseline and i'm going to do this very quickly so these things are nodes right and then you see the little timer with the green circle on it that's your workers working on the node and you connect those by um any town and then you connect them to uh like an order so then you put the workers on a node which you invest uh contribution points into and then they bring materials back into the storage which you started it from which is basically passive money so if you're a new player um just making money over time is really nice in terms of various materials and then your storage will eventually look like something just random materials in all your storages so over time as a beginner if you're wondering how to make more silver quickly um just by playing the game having a lot of workers on various things is very helpful and i'll leave a link in the description to one of the videos that i made which is my like 430 cp setup and i know that's not really super beginner friendly but it's something that i go into more detail on uh talking about which nodes i think are profitable so it doesn't matter how much cp you have it's more of like here these are good nodes to get but ultimately i would say get the things that are bottlenecks for you because generally you're going to be um getting the stuff that you use for workers and everything so the next tip that i can tell you guys is as a new player you're probably confused with all the progression in this game and you don't know how to go about gearing up and stuff so instead of enhancing your gear there's a better option which is always just buying it it's not even a new thing it's just one of those things where back in the day if you were to watch my videos a lot of this gear you had to self-enhance which is why i guess i have the same mentality of like oh i'm just gonna make my gear that's also because I've been playing this game for, well, I guess since it came out or even in the beta, you guys can watch those videos too. It's fun. Um, but nowadays it's a lot easier every year than make this game uh, more new player friendly, which overall I think is a good thing because eventually like if they keep making this game challenging and very time consuming and no new players come into the game, Guess what? Your gear means nothing if the game is dead. So I'm always a fan of catch up mechanics and uh, people being able to start the game and, you know, have fun with it. So when it comes to enhancing gear these days, I think the only thing that is really worth doing is the things that are very expensive and or hard to get like normally. So I would say 99% of the things these days you can probably just get off the market yourself. And if you're confused or have any questions on anything in particular, uh, feel free to ask. I'll ha happily point you in the right direction. So yeah, I would say buy your gear. And if you're a new player starting out your season for the first or second time, uh, definitely do the Jatina quest and then do the Magnus quest, which gives you a free pen itself or a free pen armor, which is always good. And then buy the rest of the gear you have. And by the time you get to the point where you're thinking of like ex pen accessories, fallen gods, and all those stuff, uh, that's when I would still think about um, making it yourself. Because at some point at the very end game, uh, it is more cost effective to make it yourself versus buying it. And there are some items at the super like 1% where you just can't buy it off the markets you make it yourself so anyway 
I would say 99% of the things you can get off the market, it's ultimately going to come down to how do you like to build your character like more defensively, uh, glass cannon, offense, balanced, and how does your class play, evasion, DR, and so on. So that's the part you're going to have to think of. But in terms of obtaining that gear, it's all going to come down to how much do you actually play the game and you grind a lot or something. So yeah, that's the second tip. Uh, generally buy your gear instead of enhancing it until you get to the very high end, which at that point you don't need my help anymore. And then next we're going to talk about crystals and when to upgrade them. So as you guys know, people always like looking at builds from like end game players, content creators, streamers, and YouTubers, which I think is a good thing overall, but at the same time, when you look at this, you kind of have to look at your own gear as well and be like, okay, so what is the next upgrade that you're going to do? And so, for example, let me give you an idea of like crystal setups. I've made a couple videos, which I'll actually link in the description to all of my setup. And it's admittedly more for end game, but I do have like a beginner section where I put together um like end game and beginner crystals for everyone so i think that video would be ultimately helpful for everyone but like when you look at some of these crystals you're like oh this crystal is five billion silver and then as a new player five billion is literally a new upgrade maybe an entire new pen weapon or something so definitely don't rush getting crystals until you're i would say a little past seasons so like let's say you're around full pen uh after you get through seasons and then you get your boss gear and then after that is when you should start thinking about crystals or whenever these crystals give you enough stats to the point where it's the cheapest upgrade um then you should start upgrading it so overall i think it's okay to have beginner crystals for a while but getting your gear, like permanent stuff, is a lot more important than your crystal setup. And ultimately, at the end of the day, you're going to want to just calculate how much um, your next upgrade is. For example, I've used this example before, but make smart decisions in terms of um, what you're going to go upgrade. So let me give you a real example that I use a lot. So it is a, this is a crescent ring. And so from Tet to Pen, you see how it's going from 17 to 20 AP, right? It's a uh, positive or plus three AP. Now the difference is from here, it's going like 6 billion to 60 billion. So that's like 54 billion to get three AP. And for the Basilisk Belt, it's the same thing, 17 to 20 AP. But the difference is it's going from 5 billion to like 45 billion. So you see how I talk about making smart decisions in terms of gear upgrades. You get the same stats, but you're also saving 20 billion silver, which is like potentially another upgrade for a lot of people that aren't at the end game. And so, yeah, it's one of those planning and build orders that you do. And I would say... Once your goal is to actually be at pen accessories, you should probably start looking at um, like pretty decent crystals because that 20 billion you saved from getting this one could go into crystals or something. So ultimately at the end of the day, um, I would say if I had to take a wild guess, you, you finish season at around actually let me just go look this up do i do i have a season character that's uh that's not it i don't know i don't have a season character that's fully too volid out <laughs> i like swap gear around a lot so uh-oh but anyway you're probably around like 600 gear score or maybe 550 to 570 when you finish season i think i'm not really too sure and then roughly around like the 650 plus mark is when i would consider 
getting like the intermediate to end game crystals. But other than that, just find things you think are good. I have a video of it. I'll leave it in the description if you're curious. If not, it doesn't bother me. So yeah, cheapest upgrades first. And then when your crystals are the cheapest, get those next. So the next tip I can give you, number four, would be to like not waste your silver on useless things. Well, not necessarily useless, but um, everything in this game makes silver or you use silver on it. And if your goal is just to straight up progress in this game, you're ideally, ideally your goal is to just either save silver and then buy the upgrade you want. But there are people who have actually asked me this quite often is like, when is the best time to get to a tier nine horse or light silver on fire for a tier 10 attempt? And the answer really is, it's like <laughs> horses in this game. Obviously, they're very important. They're the main source of transport next to the Magnus. But it's like whenever you think 10 to 12 billion silver to buy a horse, or make it yourself, but I guess it's probably better to um, buy one. But usually if you just buy a horse off the market and then it'll take you to a well, chances are that'll be good for a while until you think 10 to 12 billion silver is worth the investment into a horse. And like whenever uh, your gear starts to cost more than that is probably when you should do that. And another thing is, I know people like to re-roll a lot, and that I don't think it's a bad thing. Like, ultimately, at the end of the day, I always just tell people, play how you like, play the class you like, it doesn't bother me. And I will say that if you are not doing, like, tagging during events, like right now where it's one, um, one of those thingies that you item copy to, yeah, these Marnie's fuel, I would try to stick to two characters you like because it ultimately does cost a lot of silver if you keep re-rolling like every week and if you are spending your silver on costumes trust me i get it fashion end game that's great and but if you want to buy a costume for like literally all 30 of your characters see how that's like one and a half billion silver each time and so if you were to buy it for all of them then that's literally like a huge upgrade for you. So I know like there's no right or wrong way to play this game, but those are just like saving silver tips that I can give people. And like at the end of the day, if that's all you like to do, it doesn't just do it. Like just play how you like to do. But yeah, whenever you think you have enough silver to invest in something you want to do that. But if your goal is strictly gear, um, like realistically, a tier eight horse is just fine. I've literally used all the tier nine horses and I will say that like the Pegasus and like all of them are pretty good in their own way, but it's like, it saves you what one or two minutes getting from point A to B realistically. So it's a good investment eventually, but not like early on. So that's one of those things. Try not to buy too many costumes unless you're literally melting it. Um, or like you're buying it and then to melt it for gear attempts or something, Cronstones. But if you're just buying all these costumes to wear, just know that you could just straight up buy an upgrade eventually. But at the end of the day, play how you like. I did not a big deal. And finally, this is another question that I've been getting a lot is, should you sell Capra stones? Now, this is a tricky question because it depends on what server you're on. And I remember back in the day, Capra stones were literally hard sold out and there were like literally hundreds of thousands of orders on Capra stones for about six or seven months. And it was actually very hard to progress your gear in terms of uh, Capra stones back. This is way before um, like the Fallen God armors and stuff came out. So what people had to do was literally put hundreds of orders on and grind out the rest of their gear. Nowadays, you could literally just buy it all. And I'm pretty sure on all the servers, there's like an abundance of Capra stones. So ultimately, um, when it comes to Capra stones and gearing out, if you're still in the phase of uh, boss gear, as in like, red nose uh 
Gaieth or Griffin, and then like Begs, Evasion, whatever. There are a few points where you can get your Capris levels. So every level you get some stats. And then the break point would be at Capris 9 at Pen. And then it's like 13 and then 17 and then 20. So one thing with Capra stones that I would recommend to all of you guys. So let's say you don't have all this gear and um, you're trying to like all your gear is non Capra. What I would do is Capra them like one level at a time each because it gets more expensive to do it. So like from level one to level two Capra, it costs more. So I would go like level one on your shoes, helmet, chest piece, gloves, and then level two for all of them, level three for all of them, and, you know, instead of just going straight level four for like one piece at a time. And uh, at the end of the day, your goal is to get them all maxed out. But if you want to do it efficiently, you want to level them up equally instead of powering one piece at a time. So yeah, when it comes to Capris, um, I guess it depends where you're at and how much your goals are affected. So if you get all your gear to like Capris 9, and then you just want to like buy a pen black star or something. I don't mind. I don't think it's a bad idea to sell them, but just know that eventually your goal is to be uh, Capris 20 in everything until you upgrade to the like new best in slot dead God armors. And then, then you just dump them and sell it or put it into other pieces of gear. And um, yeah, so if you're early on and you don't even have pen gear, a lot of people would tell you to save them because you will need it eventually, but it also depends on where you're at in the game. So I don't think it's a bad idea, but just how fast are you progressing kind of thing. So those are the tips I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions on anything on just like, whether you're a beginner or not, feel free to leave it in the comments or join the Discord. I'm happy to point all of you in the right direction on how to... Uh, progress your gear or just like help with the game in general so yeah i've been playing this game since the beta i didn't have all these guides back in the day when i started and i just kind of had to figure everything out myself so that's why my knowledge of this game is a lot more than most people's and um yeah so i guess that's all i wanted to talk about today thanks so much for watching if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i do like to make a lot of videos for beginners, new players, returning players, and people who are just looking to get better at the game. And yeah, so have more stuff coming up tomorrow and throughout the week. So I will see you guys later. Peace.